before I let these heathens out. I want to show you all some stuff that I'm doing right now. Um, yes, it is about to feed. It's been a week or so since I redone their food. Seems like they just like to eat those mealworms. I'm gonna, my thing is now I'm going to stop giving them the mealworms in their food. I went and found this food. It's a non-soy. It's a soy-free, non-GMO food. We have uh, our scratch grains there. All right, so this is what we're going to be mixing up. And this is all I'm going to be mixing up in my barrel today. I wanted to do this without the chickens in the way and everything like that. So we're going to get out this thing and dump out the excess in this thing. And then we're going to just dump in these two. Don't get me wrong, these chickens have been eating the other food that I mixed up last week. But I wanted to get something different because they just like been picking through it, picking what they wanted. And you see in a lot of it just laid out like they've been just getting a lot of the mealworms out of there and stuff like that. So let's get started and let's dump this stuff over and uh, get it in here. These are two 50 pound bags. So we're going to, I might go half on the scratch grains just so it's not half and half. But, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I may throw it all in there, who knows. Oh, wow. This food looks really different than what I have been buying. Look at that. I don't know, that... That's way different than what I have been buying. That's crazy. Look at that, this Milo seed popped up. That is cool. It's got all kinds of different seeds in there. They may like this pretty good, I don't know. Like I said, we'll see. A lot of good stuff in there for them. Get all this stuff mixed up for them. You can just hear you can just hear my chickens just going crazy in there. Cause they ready to come out and eat. But I wanted to their first meal, I wanted them to have this. I know I got like these spots over here and stuff from yesterday. That's what I'm talking about. They just leave stuff like that. And I'm tired of wasting my, my feed. So I'm gonna get this scratch grain poured in there and we'll mix it up. That's both bags. I just went ahead and poured it all in there just so I ain't got too uh, worry with it. Not going to be mixing none of these up in there with it because, like I said, it's like that's all they're going for in a lot of cases. I mean, it's like getting candy versus an actual meal. And these are like kids. They're going to pick the candy. Just let these rascals out. had a, a little rooster that I was keeping in the, the orange and blue lot right here but it was inside of here but I recently let him in with these guys there he is nobody likes him no one of the other chickens like him poor thing they all keep picking on him even the little fluffy footed one right there they just mean to you ain't they buddy 
But anyways, we got the feed situation. Uh, hopefully held down now. Hopefully that's a good food. They seem like they took to it very well. And I mean, they're still over there eating on that same pile that I poured out. As you can tell. So they they eating it. It's not like the other time. It's just I don't know. Seems like they like are liking it. There's our big boy Domino. And give us a crow. Huh? You crow for me? Come on, buddy. Can you do that? Camera shy. Thanks, camera shy. Anyway, so yeah, so hopefully we got all of that with the feed. Hopefully this will be a good one. Hopefully they eat it with no problem, not leaving it all behind and stuff like that. Because I'm telling you, they got it's got a lot of good stuff in it, minerals and stuff, a lot of good grains for them. I mean, I even seen like oats in there freaking the ma popped mallow in there um not really popped it's like dried mallow it looks like popped like popcorn like the mallow seed just clustered out like that it's pretty cool there's all kinds of cool stuff in it for them so but yeah hopefully that'll do it just wanted to do a short little video for this nothing too crazy We've often talked about the money situation on the feed. This one is a little on the high side. Not really compared to the old feed that we used to buy for them. Um, and it was in an orange bag. I think it's called Nature's Best or something like that. That's, what, that's one of my favorite foods that I used to feed them. But it only came in a 40 pound bag. And these feeds they cost right around the same uh so a 40 pound bag of nature's best was around 30 bucks same thing with this new feed each bag that i had of this h and h feed that was around 27 something so right at 30 bucks after everything so it's they are uh it's pretty expensive as well but like i said i get I'm getting 10 more pound than I did with the nature's best. So hopefully if I can get a big shipment of that stuff and hold, get it held off. But the only bad thing right now is I was talking to the guy the other day. When I, well, just yesterday when I went and got it, he was talking about the, we're having a corn shortage right now. And that the new corn that is supposed to be re, uh, replenishing the corn, that we're going to be selling out of is not going to be ready to be sold or harvested by the time we run out so that's what's crazy a lot of things going on so it's i just wish i could just grow acres of corn out here and i won't have to worry about it, mixing up and stuff like that hopefully the feed won't be that big of a deal because it looks like we're getting more than just uh corn like scratch grain corn because there's a bunch of other different seeds in there besides corn but uh, he was also talking about the deer feed that i bought yesterday too which on a different video i got some new deer feed to show y'all thanks for joining another episode on the series keeping up with the feed hopefully this will be uh them keeping up on this type of feed that'd be nice if you haven't already hit hit that subscribe button hit that like button and share this to your mama your auntie and your grandma and your uncle and your daddy all of them share it all of them thank you for joining in to jg outdoors one more time let's get it